Okay, it's day 146.4, and this is the follow-up to the story this morning with Exact Solutions. Here's the guy who was in the United States. His name is Umer Hamid. He also went by the last name of Shah, like our Muhammad Shah. Free Pahara only gives him 21 months in jail. This is in April 12th, about the same exact day I discovered the hard drives at Imran Awan's house in Hawkshead. So it's an odd timing here. But they sold millions of dollars worth of fake degrees. Now, again, with the type of system that we have with Palantir, all the money that can be traced, all the accounts that it goes through can be recovered. Now, this case was just recently reopened here uh, in Pakistan. And we just you have to wonder if uh, our friend, um, Mr. Pompeo, was behind that. We don't really know. Uh, but uh, in India, obviously, this was a big story, this massive diploma mill. Again, it broke about the same day I was there with the hard drives in Hawkshead. So you just wonder if uh, the ones, you know, with the Shaw connection had any involvement. This was in uh, Long Island. Here's the spelling. You mayor Hamid right there. And there was an acting judge, June Kim, or excuse me, an acting U.S. attorney. And I always think those are interesting situations. Here's the follow up on the geography that I didn't have quite right. Here was this guy, which was this Levy, this William David Levy, who had all these Lamborghinis and Porsches and BMWs and Mercedes. He was right here. I was in Port Washington. I had pizza at a very hot, crowded place with expensive pizza in Port Washington. And that was actually the East Egg in the Gatsby, looking across here to West, West Egg. And I can't remember if she looked at him or, or, or who looked at who from where. But the Russians' place was in Glen Cove, one of the Russian uh, places where the Russian spies were, were over here in Glen Cove. Now, if you, if it seems like the Russians were pathfinders, the, both of these areas, uh, these, these mansions, uh, one in Maryland, the other one in New York, were both owned by the DuPont family. Um, and the DuPonts bring in these Russians, and it seems like the Pakistanis follow in the Russians' uh, feet, like the Russians get established, sort of like gangs in New York, and then the Pakistanis end up doing the dirty work for them, uh, the Pakistani ISI, and I'm talking about Russian intelligence, obviously, not the actual uh, people from the country. But anyway, uh, other key sites up here in Oyster Bay is uh, Sagamore Hill, where uh, um, Teddy Roosevelt's mansion is, and that other Awan doctor was out here in Smithtown near this Northport uh, uh, VA center in um, this medical center that's been cited for poor, uh, not very good uh, sanitary conditions. And then there's the state home is a little bit further uh, out here uh, on Long Island. Now, uh, just to uh, follow up, this is the house where the Russians live near Glen Cove is called Killenworth. And that is, um, okay, so there's uh, Killenworth estate. And this is George Pratt DuPont. I believe that I don't know if that Pratt family there is the Pratt and Whitney, but uh, DuPont obviously with uh, uh, weapons fame uh, in the United States, Dow Chemical and, and DuPont being the two key uh, weapons, sort of the crups of America. There is where uh, Killenworth is right there in Glen Cove. And then there's another Russian mission over here in Upper Brookville, just south, just south of, of Teddy Roosevelt's place. In Sagamore Hill, here's that article about the Russian controversy at the beach. I don't know if they were wearing too tight of shorts or exactly what the problem was, but they wanted to access the uh, beach, and so I thought it was just kind of a funny article. And then, then there, of course, is Port Washington with its location uh, as well to uh, finish this off.